since I've added this and trained the goats to this, I just now opened this up back here where they could come back here, come and graze and go back towards the house to where my shelters are, fresh water. Since adding this, I have not have had a goat want to get through the fence. Using this will allow my grasses to grow and it'll allow the worm load to be cut down. And another thing about it is, is teaching your goats to respect hot water. They're gonna wind their way out and they will hit that alleyway and then they'll go back into the back pasture and uh, they're gonna graze on the way there. But I want to show you guys how this works and how we're using this to obtain a heavy rotational grazing. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Boat Art Kiko's. I'm Josh and we appreciate you guys clicking on this video. So, you guys seen in the last video where we installed this brand new fence. And I had talked about putting up a hot wire box to do some rotational grazing. I wanted to control where the goats are going, what they're eating, and how much and how long they were eating it. So I want to show you my setup and what we've done in order to accomplish this. Um, you can see right here, I have basically an alleyway and we'll drive down here and i'll show you this but i've got an alleyway that goes to several different pastures for instance this is one little two acre pasture right here and in this pasture is some established cerisa lespediza so i want to make sure that i put them in here i let them graze this and then i pull them off i want to show you the box that we went with and it's hot right now, it's working, and it's a Cyclops. It has 0.75 joules of output. Stored is 0.96, and it's a solar type system. So this product is made in America, and uh, it's got a lot of good reviews, and I really like this. So it come with a mounting bracket, you can see back here, it's got the solar box right here. And then um, I went ahead and added this right here. So I just didn't want it sitting up there and it, wind could blow it off. I went ahead and added this to make sure it's secure on this post. So I'm able to use this and I train these goats. You can see the goats are just now getting up in the morning, they're over there. And what they'll do is they'll funnel their way around. They'll graze through here. They'll eat. And then they'll head down this alley right here. There's an alley that goes into a back pasture. We'll go back there and I'll show you that. But I wanted to control where they was going, how long they was going. So I can put them on here for X amount of days, pull them off, put them on another pasture. And uh, this fence, I opened it up. And for about... I don't know, 10 or 12 days, these goats wouldn't even go in here. And what had happened was I introduced them to the hot wire. These yearlings have never seen hot wire before. So when they first hit it, when I first hooked it up, it got a couple of them and then slowly but surely it started to train them. And now they're, they, they respect this hot wire. One touch and you're zapped. This thing puts out max capacity. Um, and this box right here uh, was the lower end of their solar boxes. But I wanted to uh, get the Cyclops because I heard they was really good and I'm really happy with it. And I want to show you some more products that I used while making this alleyway. And let's get into that. So I'm going to turn the box off. It's just a simple off. And I want to show you these clips that I got and they're made by Lockjaw so if I can do this so this clip right here is a clip that goes on a t-post and uh, it can fit a t-post however whichever direction you want it to 
it can go on sideways it can clamp to this right here you can take it off pretty easy you can put it on the back side however you want to use these they work pretty good so I recommend these um, I'm not sponsored by these but it's a made in the USA product again and uh, these work really well so I'm gonna try to demonstrate how easy it is to put this on your fence and attach it to the post So what you want to do is get your line in here like that and it's as simple as pushing that forward and locking it and that fence it's not going nowhere it's on there that that's a really good way and a really good product of putting up a hot wire fence i use these ratchet straps to tighten my line and let's drive on down here and i got another product i'll show you made by lock jaws that i use to make my h braces so i didn't have to put any wood post in the ground or cement so um just to let you guys know if you've been following my story and my cancer journey um we are about to go and have surgery on Tuesday of next week, the 1st of May. So I'm going to be going in and having uh, reconstructive surgery. I'm getting my insides hooked back up, fixing the hernia, trying to take out the spot that was on my abdomen wall, and then um, taking the port out. So a lot's going on with me. I appreciate all of your guys love and support prayers i'm almost through with this journey i'm going to have a healing process uh, but i just wanted to give you guys an update about me and how things are going they're going great the last scan pet scan i had no cancer showed up in my body and uh spots that were lighting up before did not light up again so i got an a plus on my scan doctors were extremely happy and uh, they are very uh, enthused about what my future looks like. So they're taking the port out and uh, we're going to move on from this and get healthy and get back to a normal life. But all the love and support you guys give us was uh, really good and we really appreciate it. And we're just right there at the end um, getting this all reversed and getting back to normalcy. So we're going down through this alley and you can see kind of how I spaced my T-posts out. I still got this fence off. You can still see these lock jaws. And uh, this alley goes on down and back here is about a five to six acre pasture that I can use to put these goats in and pull them off. Now this pasture right here behind my pull dam it is a pasture that I had to rework my pool. Uh, my pond was leaking and uh, we had to bring some guys in here and redo that and we got that uh, taken care of. But we planted some Korean Lespedeza in this paddock. So I put uh, a couple of bags of that out and I'm trying to get that established. Now that's got good grazing in it but I wanna get that established first before I'm able to turn the goats loose. So let's go on down here to the end and I'm gonna show you these H braces that we used with T-post to help build this hot wire fence. So I made it back here to the back and uh, you can see my setup 
I've got a T-post in the ground. It's very sturdy. And then I have this lockjaw corner brace kit. And it wraps around the T-post. It has, um, this slides over the end of the T-post and it's kind of locks this right here and it, it'll pivot. And what you do is you drive a T-post in the ground and you have another set that goes on the other end right here and it'll pivot and then it'll lock this corner brace in. So this is another uh, product by them. Um, it's a really good product. I was a little skeptical at first. I didn't really know how, because that's a pretty long pull, and I didn't know how well it was going to work, but it worked out really great. Um, I bought another one. So uh, I have two strands going down this alleyway, and then I've got, I sectioned off, I've got a fence going over there to my perimeter fence. And then the goats can come back here and graze this whole paddock. It's about six acres. And uh, right now it's just starting to green up. I have some crabgrass in here, some Cerisa Lespedeza that I that I put out a couple years ago. And uh, this is just another way for me to keep these goats where I want them. Um, my intentions are to Lockjaw has another product that I'm really excited about. It can clamp on to any type of fence, uh, field fence, cattle panel, and that is how I'm going to build my perimeter hot wire around this place. So I'll be adding another uh, box, and I want to put hot wire around this whole place. Um, this right here, I've got a gate right here, and I can take that down. And I can allow the goats to come in here. I could come back here, shred, do whatever I need to do. But again, this is stout. It holds it up right. You can see how I've got this braced up in the ground. And then I've got my little gate wire. And I've got two strands running through there. Since I've added this and train the goats to this. I just now opened this up back here where they could come back here, come and graze and go back towards the house to where my shelters are, fresh water. Since adding this, I have not have, had a goat want to get through the fence. I have sprayed the past few days. I went in and uh, sprayed some Roundup to keep the vegetation off my fence. But I think that this is a really good way for you to control where you want your goats to go, break your pastures up, and you don't have to put in a permanent fence. I put a permanent fence in up here on this hill, and I just wanted to be able to put it up quick, do it right, do it nice, and have it work, and that's exactly what's happened. I took my time on this project. Um, I did most of it by myself. Uh, and it was super simple. I didn't have to break my back. The hard part, I had Joe, I had my wife help me. And that was just driving T-posts, getting them set. Running the wire was super simple, but I really liked how it all come together and how it all turned out. So I'm able to, like I said before, use heavy rotational grazing for X amount of days. They can use this alleyway that goes straight back I wish the goats would come on down here and I can show you how this works. But they can use this alleyway to get back here or I can close this gate up right here. I got a gate right there, latch this gate and I can use more pasture once I try to get this Korean Lespedeja established. So before I started running hot wire, I had about five pastures, six pastures. I could dedicate to rotational grazing but I had to open up a pasture or two to get to one. And this right here eliminated this. So this right here puts it around to where I can control them into one pasture. And that opened up about five more pastures for me. This back pasture back here is three and a half acres. All I like doing on it is running, a, get a, buy a small solar charger box. And I'm gonna do the backside. Everything else is goat proof. So using this, will allow my grasses to grow and then allow the worm load to be cut down.
And another thing about it is, is teaching your goats to respect hot wire, teaching your dogs to respect hot wire. If they respect it, you ain't gonna have any problems with goats getting in your fence. Now, take it from me, I used, and I did a video about this, I used what I could do, what I could find, for instance, to get my perimeter fence up because I wanted to get goats back here. Now, this right here, this is what you call field fence. A goat can stick her head in here and get caught. And uh, that is my mistake in the beginning when I didn't use the correct fencing, but I wanted to put fence up on this barbed wire to be able to use this property and uh, now what I'm going to do is to stop because these young goats they're learning they get their head stuck still on this perimeter fence once I get a hot wire established on this I'll cut that out I won't have no no more problems they respect that hot wire once I get it over here they'll respect it over here and I won't have to be getting heads pulled out of the fence or they won't have to wear the stick but um i'm just a firm believer in running hot wire we've got joe's place over there uh, hot wired and it just really works really well and i like it that you can control and teach young dogs to stay in your perimeter fencing Right here, I'm at the beginning of where the alleyway starts right over there. And uh, they, the goats have grazed this. They've been on this for about two weeks, 14, 10 days, 14 days. But I wanna just show you the difference in the pasture right next to them. Now there's still a lot of grazing that can be done here. Um, and this was a winter plot that we had planted in the winter that come up for spring grazing. It had triticale in it. It had some clover and we got to utilize that. But right over here in the next pasture is some pretty good grazing. And what I have to do is I've got to put a gate in right here so I can utilize this pasture too that'll open up another pasture but the goats are just now getting up and going up for the morning i'm trying to get them we've had quite a bit of rain and i'm trying to get them to follow me so i can show you guys how they get back to that back pasture Good girl, good girl. This is uh, Molly. This is uh, Molly, our young pup. And uh, she is doing way better than I could ever think of. Um, she stays hooked up with those goats. I knew she had it in her, in her DNA. And uh, she, you see her go out down the alley, go to the back pasture, stays hooked up, walks back with the goats. She's always with the goats. Well, they've crossed the creek, so um, they're gonna wind their way out and they will hit that alleyway and then they'll go back into the back pasture and uh, they're gonna graze on the way there but I wanna show you guys how this works and how we're using this to obtain uh, heavy rotational grazing. So they made it back there and now here they go into the back pasture they used 
this alleyway to get back there and they're able to graze on their way back and uh what they'll do is they'll circle this whole place graze what they can graze and then they'll head back down the alley so there's lots of good grazing back here you can see the goats are over there uh, and they will make their rounds through here but what i did was to get them trained i opened that alleyway up and once they found it for several days they went back and forth and then i brought them back here opened the gate up and now they're able to come back here on their own every day multiple times a day graze this pasture like i want it to be grazed and then shut it off and let it regrowth let the worm cycle uh, go through and then put them back on it So uh, this is the product. This is a Cyclops box that I used. Um, and I did not cut any quarter, corners on it. I tried to get what would work best for me. Um, and this is the box that I went with, the Cyclops Hero Solar. And then on the fence clips, I used a uh, lock jaw and these work really great um on the h brace uh their lock jaw too i'm gonna put a link in the description of the stuff that i use to help you guys if you decide you want to do this or you're looking for something that might work for you these products work great for me they're made in the usa they're really good products so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um this is something that i had in mind that i wanted to put together i thought it out thoroughly i looked at it and this is the way I built mine for some heavy rotational grazing. I can utilize this pasture this fall. I can come in here and plant some fall crop for them to graze to. And that's what I'm doing is I'm trying to establish grazing pastures for goats that goats can use and get the most out of it. Uh, they've got a little bit of tree line back here in this part. Like I said, the other little pasture over there has got specific stuff for goats planted that they like but uh this is what i used i used the cyclops i used the uh the fence clips um the lock jaws i used all that stuff to help make this happen i hope you guys enjoyed it we appreciate you watching we appreciate you staying up with us if you're not subscribed guys go down do us a favor subscribe to our channel we have several videos out about goats and how we raise them here in northeast texas and we're raising some quality stock here and i appreciate it and uh the dogs would appreciate it too if you would go subscribe to us helps get our numbers up helps get our video out there we appreciate it and we'll catch you guys on the next one